So I've been a member of Mailer Lite for a few months, and during my time with them, I've had a number of problems. Uh, first, they've lost my list twice, so I just log in and there's zero members in my list. Um, they were able to recover it, but nevertheless, it's rather annoying. Uh, and then there was a three-week period where their sending score was so low due to one of the spam services blocking them that all my messages went to the junk box. But nothing quite beats what I'm experiencing today. So today I log in and I have an account termination notice, uh, which basically means that um, according to their terms of service, I broke their anti-spam policy. Our service may not be used for sending unsolicited emails. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then they did an investigation that says we have completed our review of your account and concluded that your activity meets the criteria for inappropriate use of service. So I'm kind of shocked by this. I don't have a big list and all my subscribers are double opt-in. So I'm confused how I got banned from spam. But when I look at the last few emails I sent, like this one I sent four days ago, uh, you see that there is zero spam, zero occurrences. So that's rather odd that I could get banned for spam. If I go to the one before that, again, zero and zero. And if I go to the one before that, also zero spam complaints, zero occurrences. So I'm wondering how I get banned from spam when in fact I didn't even do any spam. You know, I thought that these might be reasonable people. Uh, I did spend a lot of time setting up my account. So I decided to send an email because actually normally there's a chat window here and you can chat with people directly. But I guess once you get your account terminated, they no longer even allow you to contact them through the chat. So I did send an email asking them, you know, why did my account get banned? Just try to get some clarity. Maybe there's an appeal process and they weren't really having any conversation of it. So they didn't really explain anything. They just said, hi there, the decision is final and will not be reversed. Um, so I don't even really know why I was banned. I mean, I'm not sending spam. So what the real reason is, I don't know, but I suspect it's maybe because I haven't got my account up to the thousand members yet where they'll actually start billing you and perhaps they think that it's not worth it to continue to provide the service for me when my list is only like 500 and growing at a slower pace because that's what this site warrants. So if you're gonna sign up for Mail or Light, uh, do it at your own risk. They do have a lot of issues with delivery. They have a lot of issues with losing the list and then they just ban you for no reason and you gotta pick up and move somewhere else. So. I wish I wouldn't have signed up here. So I just want to warn anybody who's considering signing up with Mailer Light.